Welcome to today's webinar, Master 2017 ICD-10 CM and ICD-10 PCS, PCS changes in minutes. Today you will learn how to recognize the new, revised, and deleted ICD-10 codes that will go into effect October 1, 2016. You'll also master how to improve your coding productivity, avoiding setbacks to your reimbursement. We will also be discussing how to ensure accurate code selection required for compliance purposes and make sure that you're fully prepared for all of the new changes before your claims turn into a potential denial. We'll walk you through all of the code changes and guideline updates that will prevent your practice from productivity and revenue setbacks. Remember, the specificity grace period also expires October 1, 2016, which means you'll no longer be protected from ICD-10 coding mistakes. With that being said, let's get started. So what has changed with these new updates? It's been five years since any updates were made to the ICD-10 CM code set. More than 3,000 changes and impactful revisions in the tabular instruction are coming to ICD-10 when the fiscal year 2017 code set takes effect on October 1st. CMS has posted the final full addenda list along with an updated tabular alphabetic index, neoplasm table, table of drugs and chemicals, and index of external causes on June 22nd of this year. Some revisions are as simple as a singular word change in the code, like form of of, to, do, to. Other changes reflect an actual change in the medical terminology itself. The addition of a word may change the use of how you're actually utilizing that diagnosis code within your practice. Staying current on these changes will help your accuracy and productivity within coding. So that means we only have a few short months to bring our practices up to date and get our providers on track. Many have stated that denials due to unspecified codes have reached record highs. In addition, if we don't correctly capture the specificity needed to combat that, we have the added pressure of the new regulations. Learning the changes before they go into effect is paramount to how the new, revised, and deleted codes will change with your current coding paradigm. So what else has changed? We have 422 revised codes, 305 deleted codes, and then there are also significant changes, including better code options for contraceptive management, which is represented with code Z30.015 through Z30.46. There is also additional clinical guidance for nicotine dependence, along with examples, and this includes uncomplicated, in remission, with withdrawal, with other nicotine-induced disorders, and unspecified nicotine-induced disorders. Again, adding to that level of specificity within the code and coming from the provider's documentation. Once the ICD-10 partial code freeze expires on October 1, 2016, you may see certain excludes 1 notes change to excludes 2 notes. The tabular list for ICD-10-CM states that an exclude 1 note indicates that the code excluded should never be used at the same time as the code above the exclude 1 note. That rule caused issues for certain code combinations. The new rule indicates that reporting a code together with codes from an exclude 1 list may be appropriate when the conditions are unrelated. For example, conditions covered by codes ranging from F01 to F99, mental, behavioral, and neurodevelopmental disorders, are now in an excludes 2 note instead of an excludes 1 note at the top of the category heading for R40 to R46, which is our symptoms and signs involving cognition, perception, emotional state, and behavior. This will mean that starting October 1st, the conditions such as dementia, F03.90, can be coded along with the symptoms such as dizziness, R42, without the coder having to find out whether or not the two are related. Now we're going to start going through the actual breakdown of the differences um, chapter by chapter for ICD-10-CM from October 1st, 2016. And beginning with Chapter 1, we have our certain infectious and parasitic 
Office, which actually had no additions, deletions, or revisions. Only one final change to the final update, which is our um, the addition of the code for the Zika, Zika virus, which is represented by A92.5. This code was assigned by the World Health Organization for the Zika virus, which everyone knows is um, the latest uh, latest thing going on um, from Florida all the way all the way up north uh, within the United States. So now we can actually utilize um, ICD-10 code set to represent this within our coding.